And are you refreshed? Yes. Good. Now what? Is there anything left undone? <laughs> Hardly. Thank you, Abraham, Esther, Jerry. I appreciate you so much, yeah. and I'm very grateful for the entire universe and being a part of this creative experience, being on the leading edge, uh, expanding my desires. I want to know specifically, it just came to my right now, I was thinking about it earlier, when I expand personally, or any one of us, as a human, the you, does the source you that flows through me and to me from source, does that also expand with the human expansion at the same point? Yes, but we took your expansion when you launched it to your vortex. When you let it in, that's all for you. Excellent. You don't have to release resistance in order to have done what you intended in the expansion of the universe. And that expansion that you discovered will be there for you in any moment in time that you release resistance, which for a lot of people is when they croak. Mm -hmm. yeah. The five step, I'm really grateful that we went over with the second gentleman that came up about, about the five steps and and the lady, the first woman who came up here, we were talking about, she was saying be between four and five. There are a lot of people here, it's their first workshop. I was wondering if you'd be gracious enough to go over the five steps and specifically, I'm interested in knowing how, I feel like I'm really, let me give an example. I used to get mad at myself about things and I've learned to allow myself to laugh at it instead of being angry about something, specifically getting upset about myself, not living up to perfectionism, which I know I don't want to do anymore. I just want to allow the process and enjoy the yeah. pleasantries of creating or allowing, meditating or napping. And with the fifth step, Falling back and recognizing the contrasts. And enjoying and it. And enjoying the contrast and seeing those and then the momentum of them being answered. And then can we go over the five steps just because there are so many people here I think would really benefit from understanding why it's important. We want to do this and it's not like going back over it. It's like discussing it from our new current now vantage point. Thank you. So in every moment there is variety, which means in every moment there is contrast and contrast could mean resistance. It doesn't need to. When you go to a buffet and you say, I would like some of that and that and that, that's entirely different than saying, I don't eat that and I don't eat that and I don't eat that. And I don't know why you even put that out. <laughs> and the person behind the counter might say, well, why does that bother you? I'm afraid it's going to accidentally get on my plate. <laughs> well, no, it's not going to jump on your plate. Nothing jumps on your plate that you don't give your attention to. So just choose what you want. And so contrast is so helpful and it is present everywhere and at all times. So step one is exploring contrast and from it coming to personal preferences. Now, sometimes that preference is as simple as I prefer this and it's often from past experience. It might just look good. It doesn't matter. I'm choosing this, but you get more and more sophisticated as you move through life experience of knowing what you do prefer. And so at all levels of your being, you're offering preferences and those preferences are emanating from you vibrationally. We call it like a rocket of desire and are being received by your inner being. Your inner being is aware of your sifting process and is standing by ready to receive your conclusions about your sifting. So you're fulfilling your intention of being out on the leading edge, maybe exposing yourself to the potential of resistance. Your inner being exposes itself to no potential of resistance. Your inner being waits for you to choose and then lines up with what you've chosen. 
So step one happened, now step two is happening. Your inner being receives your rockets of desire. Now that's not all that happens in step two. In step two, the other thing that happens is you've launched a rocket. Your inner being is now focusing upon that rocket. Now the law of attraction is responding to that powerful point of focus, which means all cooperative components are now being attracted to your inner beings point of focus which is on your behalf does that make sense to you so the vibrational you to your words earlier expanded as a result of your living of this life experience so step two happened and now there is a vibrational reality it's a vibrational reality that will turn to things but it's turning to things since you are the creator of it is contingent upon you being a cooperative component because you created it and so you're the one that's going to turn it into things but meanwhile it's just this vibrational reality that you want to call potential you might even want to call it future creating we want to call it now we want to call it current tense we want to call it what's going on right now so step one happened you sorted and sifted and asked whether you knew it or not. Step two happened. Your inner being focused and the law of attraction gathered the cooperative components. Now you have the opportunity of moving in the direction of your desire, which is an effective step three, or holding yourself in opposition to your desire. Well, a lot of people without meaning to hold themselves in opposition to their desire because they keep looking at what is. What is is the enemy of what's more because if you are so focused upon your current state of financial affairs even though you've put so much into your vortex that is ready to be delivered to your bank account you don't let it in because what is in terms of manifestation is active instead of what is in terms of vibrational reality they're both is they're both current tense they both have a point of attraction your inner beings taking care of this one you're taking care of this one clearest we've ever said it thank you very much and when you become a vibrational match to this feel your power imagine what it's like when you release your resistance and now you're in harmony with this so that's step three step four is being so aware of this process that once you discover step three and you like the sweet taste of alignment that you begin to focus because of the way you want to feel on a steadier more consistent chronic basis until you've mastered within yourself an awareness and a desire to feel that and that's what we call step four step four is just being really good at step three but it's being so good at it that it's just your second nature it's your natural impulse when you're like that people say that's an optimistic person when you are like that people say that's a forward-looking person and so step four is just being really good at step three then step five is you're hanging around in step four most of the time but the contrast still surrounds you because every time you know what you don't want and know what you do want and then line up with it you accomplish something it manifests but you also get a whole new set of contrasting experiences which cause the process to start over again so there's never a time when you're not aware and launching new rockets so step five embraces that knowledge step five is me in my human form understanding that I'm going to always be asking for more for new for improved for more and so as I'm launching that more now I'm so appreciative of the contrast that was essential for the more that the contrast doesn't strike me at all as an obstacle or a bad thing or something that I have to overcome or something that I should regret instead I understand it as the power that causes the clarity that causes the point of attraction one time years ago Esther was dusting an etagere in their house and it was a glass etagere they bought it at a department store it was actually the display case it's magnificent and Esther talked them into selling it to her and so she has this beautiful display case in her living room and it little pegs sticking out from these shelves chrome shelves and glass sitting on top of the pegs and without realizing it the glass each time she was dusting it was moving a little closer to the edge 
and one day she put her cloth on it and the top shelf just collapsed into the next which collapsed into the next and everything on the shelf was broken the little lovelies that they had gathered for quite a while Jerry heard the crash from the other room hollered at Esther don't move because he knew she had bare feet he came shards of glass were actually sticking in the floor these were big shelves Esther was unhurt and Jerry said oh good something to buy <laughs> and he meant it he meant it oh good something to buy Esther thought yeah a lot of things a lot, whole, whole lot of things to buy so that's what step five feels like you're back in contrast but you're looking at it from broader perspective which is about realizing more and having more experience and more pleasure Jerry knows for sure that Esther had way more pleasure finding those things than she did dusting them <laughs> and so that's step five step five is you're new in every moment which means your contrast is different in this moment than it's ever been before which means your contrast has the potential of promoting or creating something that is new unto the universe and new unto you oh, the potential of that newness that's what step five is standing in readiness to realize the impulse that allows this vibration to evolve you are out here on the leading edge and you are physical beings who can see and hear and smell and taste and touch which means you see manifestation you hear manifestation you smell manifestation you taste manifestation you touch manifestation so you have physical senses for the purpose of savoring your creation you don't create through those physical senses they are meant to be the savoring tools to savor your environment you see and that's what makes so many humans misunderstand because they want to savor it which means they need to see it before they can savor it and we want you to savor with your emotions we want you to savor the feeling rather than what you're seeing we want you to savor in anticipation of the meal you're going to eat not just with the taste buds when it's actually moving across your tongue you see and so here you are always in a new moment in time with all kinds of levels of attraction happening to you step one step two step three step four step five all important to the whole and each step something to be savoring helpful yes very helpful did you hear the new pieces because you've been hearing one two three four five for a while right right that's correct and I I feel like want to know what step six about. is yes ma'am that's when you're dead <laughs> bring it on there is no dead but step six is that place of non-resisted thought and in step six there is still contrast but it is not discernible from your human perspective that's how refined the contrast is but it's still delicious and step six includes non-physical that's all of us awareness of you all it is a savoring beyond physical description it's what you would call love if you ever really felt it it's what I feel like right now in the hot seat yeah thank you so yeah. much really good, really good.